Ladies and gentlemen, Charles. And you know, I've been asked a lot of questions about Serbian money, so I thought I'd go through every single uh, bit of Serbian money that they offer and tell you a little bit about it quickly. The first one and the smallest denomination of Serbian money is this, which is one dinar. Dinar. And it says on it, it's got a picture of a building and uh, just the back of it, it's got your Serbian crest. Uh, nothing special. They're all the same color. They're kind of a light uh, goldish color. And they've got a strange, they're made of something strange. I don't know what, because listen to the sound. It's got, it doesn't sound like American money, but anyway, that's one dinar. And this is worth roughly one penny, roughly, okay? So you cannot buy hardly anything with this. Two, next denomination is the two dinar. And it's got a church, it looks like Gracenica uh, monastery on there. Um, it's the same color, slightly bigger. You can see it's just a hair bigger than the other one. Uh, that's something you'll notice about Serbian money. Every one of them slightly bigger, even when it comes to the bills there. Uh, but that's it. Serbian crest on the back. Two dinara is worth about two pennies in the United States, so you can't buy anything. Next one is the five dinara, and it's a little bit bigger yet, about the size of a nickel. Uh, or I'm sorry, this is about the size of a quarter in the United States, and it's uh, five dinara is worth about a nickel, which is five cents United States, maybe a little bit more, maybe six cents, but you still can't buy much at all with it. Same crest on the back. Next one, there's a 10 dinara, but I don't think they make it anymore, and uh, because they have a 10 dinara bill, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. But uh, the 10 dinara is a little bit smaller than this, 20 dinara bill and uh, or coin and uh, it's worth 10 dinara which is like 10 cents or a dime or a little more than a dime in the USA. This is the 20 dinara coin and the biggest coin. I don't think they make it anymore. You can see this one's um, gold, silver colored compared to the others and the only dates I see on these 20 dinara are 2003, so I think they quit making it. But it's got Sveti Sava, the big uh, Orthodox temple that's here in Belgrade on it. And something on the back, this might be the S Serbian, uh, Nerodna Banka Serbia, which is People's Bank of Serbia. And this might be the Soma Sloga, whatever, the Serbian thing that says only unity saves the Serbs in a different font. Don't know for sure. But this is a larger coin, the biggest, and it's worth about 25 cents, roughly, American. You can buy uh, maybe some instant coffee that they drink over here, like a little single pack of Nest coffee you could get with this, maybe. Uh, then we go to the bills here. Quickly, we're gonna go through these. This 10 dinara bill is the smallest bill you'll find in Serbia, and it's got this seal on it. Uh, and it's got inside here, if you can see, you can see Vuk Karadzic, uh, a watermark in there. And that's who this young gentleman is here in his youth, Vuk Karadzic. He's known as the father of the Serbian alphabet. He uh, created this amazing alphabet uh, that say as, or say as you read, something like that. So every single letter has its own distinct sound. So you don't have silent letters and stuff like you do in English. And this is another picture of him. Uh, and it says desit dinara. That's what tin is in English. It's desit. So desit dinara, Vukaradzic. It's a yellow um, Serbian crest. And your serial number is on the back there. So that's kind of what it looks like. And like I said a minute ago, um, all Serbian money has a different size. So it's the smallest bill. And I'll show you a little bit later. The next one, we've got Peter Petrovic um, Njegos. That's him. A lot of my American friends thought it was a, a Muslim but he's not a Muslim. He was a Serbian, he was a, uh, actually an Orthodox bishop and prince of Montenegro um, in the late, what, middle to, was that middle? Let me see, I don't wanna mislead you. Middle to, yeah, he was only around for 37 years. He died when he was 37, but he was prince of Montenegro. He was known as the modern day father of Montenegro. He created the first two elementary schools and he was known, he was a poet also. And he wanted to unite all the Slavic people here. And he, he tried to, uh, it didn't happen in his 37 years, but he wanted to uh, merge Montenegro with the Serbs. 
and uh, you get some of his stuff. It says des, uh, dva deset dinara. Dva deset is 20 in English. Narodna Banka Serbia, that's People's Bank of Serbia. You get another picture of him and his youth on the back and some pictures of a monastery or something. Same thing, it's a green color. And you can see the width, let me line it up. The width is bigger for the 20 diners and it's longer too. So every one of them has its own shape. Next one we got Stevan Stojanovic. He was known as the father of Serbian music today. He was a composer, music writer, uh, literary, and he's got like a violin on here and it says Padeset Dinara. It's also got your little uh, seal in here and your, uh, there's his watermark inside there you can see, and it's purple. Um, on the back of it, you've got another picture of him and his youth and some little uh, something, I don't know what it is, but you can see in Serbia they'll write in uh, Padeset, they have their Chirilitsa and then they have it in or Cyrillic we say, and then they have it in Latinic. Same thing, your crest and your serial number is there, and it's a light purple bill. The last one we're gonna do today, because I talk too much, is this one. The most, oh, sorry. This one is worth 50 dinara. This is worth about 55 cents. With this, you can buy a loaf of bread, you can buy um, a two liter of water, you can buy different things like that. So it actually has some value. And the last one we're going to do today, 100 dinara. This is worth about a dollar ten in our money. The famous Nikola Tesla, uh, who came to the United States at the age of 35 years old. His most notable achievement, well, which is one of many, 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 was uh, alternating current uh, that he introduced. He's done many, many great things, and unfortunately, he didn't get enough credit and he died a very poor man in the United States. Uh, but he was born in a little village over here in present day Croatia. His father was a Serbian Orthodox priest. And it says got one of his little, I don't know, formulas on here. Uh, the Tesla coil, I believe is what that is, something that he designed. Uh, in Užice, Serbia, it's got one of his, uh, Niagara Falls was the first power plant using his design and Užice is the second one uh, down there. It says, Sto uh, dinara. Uh, sto dinara, sto means 100, and it's a light blue color, um, and inside you can see the watermark of Nikola Tesla. But let's go through here quickly before I shut this off and show you the differences here. Uh, you can see when you line all of these up, uh, the 10 is smaller, everyone's a little bit bigger than the predecessor. Anyway, my friends, that's it. That's a little look at Serbian money. Next time we've got 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, and 5,000. Prijetno.